Hi everyone, uh, welcome uh, to this lecture video. Um, uh, in this uh, tutorial, uh, you will learn how you can um, export or download uh, these map um, um, sat satellite uh, data which contains moisture um, and which is um, um, provided by NASA. Uh, and this data is hosted by Earth Engine. Uh, the Google Earth Engine um, uh, Cloud um, uh, Data Archive and Analytic uh, Platform. And so once you um, complete this tutorial, uh, you'll be able to access, um, uh, you know, a global soil moisture, um, you know, map like this. And um, you'll also be able to download for a specific country, in this case, Tanzania. Um, so I'll show you how you can um, you know, import uh, or download uh, soil moisture uh, SMAP data uh, on the Earth Engine um, code, code Editor um, API. And in addition, I'll also provide you access to the entire uh, script or code, um, you know, along with the, you know, the tutorial. So you can um, access this code and just um, you know download uh, this map data on your own study region and so what's this map data this map is a soil moisture active passive um, you know data um, uh, you know um, operated by nasa and this is um, a, a you know a surface a surface um, soil moisture which uh, indicates the the wetness or dryness of the land surface and it has many applications, um, including weather forecast, um, you know, drought monitoring, and to uh, predict flood and also crop productivity because, you know, moisture, uh, soil moisture um, indicates uh, the productivity of a, a crop on on um, uh, an agriculture field. And so this product um, is very very useful in many many other um, real world application. Uh, as you have seen here. And if you're interested on, this is a NASA uh, JPL website. If you're interested about the product information, uh, here you can click data product and you can get more information to, you know, different, um, you know, SMAP bands and, and, and whatnot. And the details of um, each of these bands and, and what the limitations of that and the spatial and temporal resolution of that and whatnot. And we'll be using the Earth Engine um, Cloud uh, API to access the SMAP dataset and also run our code on, on the API. So if you click uh, this uh, Earth Engine site, and if you search, for example, SMAP, it will provide you to this map, um, you know, global data. And this is the um, Earth Engine uh, image collection that hosts the SMAP. Um, um, product on, on the Earth Engine. So we'll be, um, you know, downloading, uh, you know, this map data um, using our code. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing is, um, you know, our, um, all right, the title for our um, analysis, exporting this map data, all right? And the first thing is I'll just uh, create a region of interest um, for our study area. Um, since it's a global data, um, so I'll declare a variable countries, and I'll import it as a, a feature a feature collection, and I'll access the um, Earth Engine um, built-in um, a feature collection for for a global um, you know countries data. Um, and that's L LSIP, yeah, simple. Uh, I'll just mark it actually cap, capita, and 2017. So this is a global data um, for countries boundary, all right? And after that, um, I, I need to declare equal here, okay? And next thing is I'll just uh, create my ROI variable variable ROI is equal to and I'll call this countries what I'm doing is here is um, subsetting um, uh, from the world uh, administrative boundaries data I'll subset to a certain study region in this case um, 
a Tanzania. So I'll filter uh, this feature data. And EE filter equal. And I'll uh, include a bracket. Country NA is the um, name for countries. And in this case, I'll, I'll use Tanzania. Okay. And I'll close the, um, the statement with the semicolon. And let me just uh, map this to make sure that we have the right polygon or region of interest, All right? Um, we don't need to specify some coloring or uh, things like that, just a basic mapping. Uh, Tanzania and I'll declare false um, and since I'm not interested to map it to make it to make this um, uh, layer active on the dashboard I'll just add it if I want to let's execute that and okay so we have some error here execute that okay something has gone on okay so it's not fun we might have some typo error here us does okay that's just a typo okay perfect it's working now and actually what we are what we need to do is um, we don't have the zoom label we don't know what the um, map center is so let's just adjust that by adding map center object that way we'll adjust uh, the zoom level to Tanzania now let's execute that code perfect so we are now um, okay so we can see that our um, study region is um, subset or clipped very well. So we'll download this map data for this uh, study region for, for uh, Tanzania, okay? And so the next thing is to actually um, uh, go to the, um, um, <clears throat> the Earth Engine website. I actually, actually, I can, um, copy the the script from from you know the github here um, let's just uh, copy that here and paste it here so what we're doing here is technically uh, we have the image collection uh, the NASA um, SMAP data uh, this is the image collection for the NASA SMAP data uh, if you go to the earth engine site this is what you exactly have uh, this is um, the soil moisture data on Earth Engine. And because it's a time series data, I'll filter it by date, as always. Um, for example, in this case, I'll be using um, um, data for 2017. Um, and also, I'll because this is a global data, um, I'll filter it by, um, by uh, uh, ROI, in this case, um, you know, um, Tanzania, right? and so let's just and then the next thing is because the time series data um and also has multiple products i'll just um select this ssm soil moisture and also generate a statistics um, um a median statistics and next i'll create some sort of um, um visualization parameter here and um, the minimum and maximum value in some coloring and um, you know I'll just um, um, actually I need to check this because I don't need to filter it now since I can clip it later um, and let's execute that and see what we'll have so what we have is that um, a global soil moisture data as you can see here 
Um, so this is a global soil moisture data. So if you look at red, it's high moisture, uh, yellow is medium, and then um, blue is dry. As you can see here, the Sahara Desert it's pretty, you know, a uh, dry area in some, uh, some part of Eastern Africa. And you can see the moisture variation across the globe. And um, you can see the Amazon forest, uh, pretty you know wet due to the um, the pretty um, uh, large um, you know forest cover here in the Amazon. You can see that the the soil moisture is uh, uh, very high, or it's a wet soil moisture. And then you can see some spatial variation in the U.S. as well. Um, on the you know west coast, uh, pretty dry. You know, looking at California and Arizona, and in the east coast, um, very well vegetated um, and mostly moisture, um, high moisture um, coverage due to the vegetation cover here. Um, and so this is um, how you can visualize um, this map data at a global scale. So now what we are interested in is to um, subset this for a study region and um, export it, right? So instead of uh, looking at the global uh, you know, data, we'll just uh, filter it by um, you know, um, uh, a certain study area. and clip that to um, a region of interest here and as you can see here so we clip the global soil moisture with um, clip ROI is Tanzania here in our case so we have not only soil moisture data for Tanzania okay and the next step is to actually um, export the data, export the, the soil moisture data for Tanzania, okay? And you can um, do that by applying this bit of code. So if you go to, um, if you execute export image to drive, and then you have a few parameters here, uh, image description, scale, region, and max pixel. So image is the, the uh, data, the image, um, obviously uh, clipped by ROI. And you can write a description, SMAP Tanzania. You can change it if you want to. And the scale, um, actually, you can you can change the scale here. Um, probably you know one kilometer or one thousand meter. Um, region of interest is ROI, which is um, you know Tanzania here. And you usually define max pixels to avoid um, you know Earth engine um, you know maxing out your quota when you run some analysis so and when I execute that I can see that the export is being processed uh, so I'll just hear the map Tanzania here so if I click around here I can um, you know see um, export um, that map Tanzania I just go go ahead and run that and it will um, process that and then Finally, you'll find this um, um, SMAP data for Tanzania on your Google Drive. And so that's how you would use um, SMAP data uh, from NASA and Earth Engine and using uh, 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 an Earth Engine um, JavaScript uh, uh, code editor API to uh, download uh, you know, the SMAP data.